Okay, so I've just moisturised Maddie's skin with a little bit of Embryolise. I am then going to take Chanel Vitalumia foundation. I'm going to use this in... Well, actually, I'm using it in 20, but I'm going to mix a little bit of lighter foundation with it. It's going to be a little bit too dark. And I am going to take a Real Techniques buffing brush and work that into the skin. Now Maddie was actually telling me that she used to get breakouts, she used to get acne, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And so many people in the last video said how amazing your skin was. So, how did you overcome it? Um, in January of this year now ending, yeah. um, I started on a six month course of Roaccutane. And it worked for you? Yeah. It, it's very strong, but it, it worked. And I'm glad I went on it. Yeah, you have to seek doctors to, to get that, so... Mm -hmm. Well, your skin looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to take this a little bit down the neck on Maddie because she is so fair and I want it to be a bronze look but I need it still to um, add a little bit of colour through the neck as well. Because if I was to put a bronzer on now she would just look quite stripy so we're just building the makeup up. And here is my heavy breathing from my cold. <laughs> it's like Darth Vader. Right, just close your eyes for me. Lovely. I'm going to run a little bit of the foundation just over the eyes. And that's just giving us an even blank canvas to start off with. You have your brows HD done, don't you? Mm -hmm. They look just fantastic. Your auntie does it. Where's she based? Um, at her house in Thorpe Marriott. Oh, wow. She does a lovely job of them. And I haven't done them. I had them done for a couple of months. Wow, they look fantastic. Okay, I am going to take a little bit of concealer. I have got moisture cover in NW20. And I am going to use a real... Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. If you look right up for me, I'm going to take that under the eyes. Now, I am going to use the Naked Urban Decay Palette, but I find that that product really creases, the eyeshadow's crease. So first, I'm going to take a MAC um, Paint Pot. This one is in Bare Study. And I'm going to run that all over Maddie's eye as a base. This is a beautiful base on its own, but it also will just stop that product from creasing so much. And the brush that I'm using is a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Okay, I have then got my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Now the reason I've chosen to use this one is because I know so many of you love it and have it, so I wanted to get some use out of it because we, very, we don't that often use it, which is a scandal. I am going to take, I think I will take Half Baked, which is this one here, oops, sorry, can I do? On a MAC 217. So I'm just doing a soft wash of this right the way over the eye. Beautiful. Now with the shape of Maddie's eye, I can go up reasonably high with these colours. Um, so obviously just, just do it to the shape that suits your eye shape. If you haven't got as much space, don't go as high with it.
Right, I am going to then move on to a MAC 239, put it in camera, and then I am going to use a little bit of smog and maybe a little bit of dark horse. Sorry for putting those over your face, Daddy. So, smog is the slightly lighter of the two colours. I am going to run that along the lash line and slightly wing out. Now this makeup I want to keep on the top of the eye, so very much like um, Rosie Huntington Whitley or is it Whiteley? I say Whiteley. I say Whiteley. So we are going to keep that on the top of the eye and wing it out slightly. And then using the same brush, I am going to get Dark Horse and run it pretty much in the same area. So on the outer corners, slightly along the lash line. It's just going to build colour along the base of the eye. these um, Urban Decay palettes that you can really blend them nicely and they blend together so beautifully. Pulling out in the corners so that the eyeshadows blend outwards. I'm then going to take a little bit of this colour here called Creep and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Dark Horse that I was already using on a MAC 266 and I'm just going to run that along the lash line and wing it out slightly and as I wing it out I'm going to turn my brush and pull back on myself and upwards. And then keep building with it. Don't worry if you have fall down from these products. We haven't powdered the skin so you can clean it away at the end. They do fall down a bit so don't worry. Tap your brush off as much as you can beforehand. So I'm just going in with the darker colours along the lash line again. And pulling back just to get that kind of darker shading on the very outer corner. Okay, I am then going to tight line a Maddie's eye and I have got MAC Black Tracks and I've got a MAC 210 brush and in case you don't know what tight line is, it is basically one of the most uncomfortable things to do to your model. But Maddie is very similar to me and likes it. <laughs> she likes the feeling of it. If you can look down for me, I'm just going to lift the eye up and run my black liner. along the inside of the eye. Easy as that, but it just makes it that little bit blacker. Look down for me, lovely. So it's just framing the eyes that little bit more. If you can look up and that way for me, Maddie. Get right in here. And for the other side. Right, I'm next going to move on to the brows. I'm going to take a small amount of Omega eyeshadow by MAC and a MAC 263. And I'm just going to shape the brows a tiny amount. I don't want them to be too much because as I was saying earlier, 
and he's got beautiful brows I don't want to make them look too drawn on because the thing with being a Victoria's Secret model is you want to look beautiful look like you've got makeup on but also look like it's effortless which Maddie obviously looks effortless <laughs> Got absolute youth envy today beautiful so we just framed them slightly I'm then going to take an Illamasqua brow gel I'm going to brush them so they're all going the same direction and they will stay put I love doing eyebrows on myself well you've got gorgeous eyebrows you don't need to do much do you When we saw you in the toy shop, I was afraid to come and ask you to be a model. I was like, she's going to think I'm mental. Sam, you go, you go. I think I just stared at you <laughs> when you came over and was like, I watch your videos. I just went, hi. Just stared at you thinking, oh my God, she's so pretty. That's what I did when Sam asked me. I went, yes. <laughs> My mum was in London, I had to phone her straight away. Oh, did you? That's so sweet. Yeah, I was like, I don't know, should we ask her? Should we not? Should we ask her? <laughs> Sam was like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So I'm just giving them a brush through. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to take Chanel. This is a Soleil de Tan. I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques Expert face brush. I'm going to take that. So basically, this bronzer is going to go anywhere where the sun would shine and catch the skin. So it's going to go actually on the top of the cheekbones. And it's going to go on the top of the forehead. we want to look naturally tanned and it's going to go down the nose and once you've got the product on just use your brush to blend it all through I almost thought this would be too orange for me it's actually nice on you it has got a slight orangey tone but I'm using it very minimal I'm not using it to contour or anything because it would be if I used it to contour but I love the product, it's just divine. Yeah. So on the top of the cheeks. I'm going to use this skinny brush mascara on you. You can keep it because I like to use it from the wand. So take that with you. And you can just look down for me perfect. And um I am going to powder the skin just a tiny bit um, purely because on the camera it's going to look like it needs a powder I really like the glow of it mm -hmm. but just for the camera and I've got a sleek um, makeup luminous press powder and this one is in the colour LPP01 so I think it's the lightest shade and I'm just going to take that over the forehead down the nose anywhere that you don't want the natural the shine to be so if you were to have oily skin anywhere that the oiliness comes so pretty much the t-zone I'm going to take it a smaller brush to use it under the eye. And 
I'm keeping the cheeks really glowing. And then on the lips I've got a um, Bobbi Brown lip gloss and this one is in um, Pink Sunset 51. Now obviously I've gone heavier on the eyes so I'm going really natural on the lips. Just giving the lips a lovely shimmer. Okay, I think we're pretty much done. So, there you have a finished Victoria's Secret Bronzed Glow Makeup on Maddie. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you so much for being my model, sweetheart. And uh, we will definitely get her in again to do more. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. You have a lovely day and we will see you again soon. Bye. Lovely.